Hi folks, it's Peter here from Rainbow Springs Fly Fishing with another little pro tip for you. And this one relates to a common casting fault called tailing loops. Now, the normal fly line with a tight loop has two legs, a top leg and a bottom leg. As the loop falls out, it then becomes one. Now, a tailing loop is where that top leg falls down towards the bottom leg and it looks like it's got a tail hanging down and it usually ends up with lots of wind knots. Now it's commonly caused by your hand movement and the hand movement is inadvertently done, and this is exaggerated, but in a concave action like so and the, therefore the rod is stopped quite high and it doesn't drive the line out. Now the way to correct it is to have a hand movement that is slightly the reverse of it. Right, so the bad one goes like this and the good one goes like that. And what we ask clients to do is visualize the fly line rolling over the rod tip, not rolling through the rod tip. So it's a pretty common one. One of the other reasons that it can occur is that as part of this action, you may be aerializing too much line for your ability. So you therefore try harder and you shock the rod tip. Our advice to people is learn to get nice tight loops with a manageable amount of line and then learn how to shoot the line better, become a better shooter. And then as you develop, you will then find you can manage more line and you can shoot it further. And one of the other reasons it can occur, less common, is that people get the head of the line too far outside the rod tip, and that's not what weight forward lines are designed to do. So let me just show you what both of them look like. So, you, and again, I will exaggerate this, but it's all primarily to start with in the hand movement. So, a nice tight loop is that where it, the line rolls over the rod tip. Right? It's got a top leg and a lower leg and they all work nicely together. Now here's the bad one. There's the tail. That's as exaggerated. There's the tail. And I've got a knot. There's the tail. There's the tail. See my hands moving? Again, I'm over exaggerating it so that you get a good idea of what to watch out for. So if you're getting tailing loops and lots of tangles, roll it over the rod tip. Roll your hand over, over, not under. There's your tailing loop. There's your good one. Right? So just be aware of that. It's easy to cure. Roll it over the rod tip, down to a nice presentation, and that'll solve the tailing loops for you. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you've liked this little pro tip. Please like our Facebook page and share this with your fishing clubs. Um, and if you'd like more information, go to our website at rainbowsprings.com.au, click on the contact us page and we'll shoot you off an information pack. Bye for now.